a very good afternoon dear viewers so bharat electronics limited uh, they have issued the second list uh, a second list for the shortlisted candidate who have been shortlisted for the apprenticeship training uh, on graduation level so shortlisted candidate second list for document verification for graduate apprenticeship training yes this uh, they had they have issued this uh, they have issued this on 17th of jan and uh, like uh, there are around 215 students in their second list uh, s mahalakshmi ramya v pranshu tripathi kumara kamaraj r marinal manoj ram kumar ramesh abhishek kumar thakur Ma, uh, mary theresa kritika v samya p so i have taken the names of the first 10 students they are from computer engineering uh maybe electronics engineering yes electronics and communication electronics and tele telecommunication these are the branches uh, they have uh, notified the names so in total they have notified the uh, 215 names okay so uh, reporting date and time like uh, what happens sometimes uh, um, bell also sends the official email on your email id and uh, but here they have uh, in diploma in the case of diploma training they had uh, officially sent the names of na uh, send the mails to the students regarding their shortlisting that uh, dear students you have been shortlisted and you are supposed to report on this this address on on this this date but uh, for a graduate apprenticeship training they have uh, issued the names they might have not uh, uh, received any mail the, the students for uh, graduate training they might have not received any mail but don't worry so uh, if your name is inside this list if your name is uh, either either in first list or in second list but for the first list they they had the different reporting timing and for the second list they have this timing uh, this reporting timing uh, 3rd of february uh, early morning 10 am so address is mentioned here hongi rana center for learning and development bharat electronics limited jalhali bangalore okay fine now candidates are advised to report at given date and time with the following original documents along with one set of photocopy yes you, you should uh, um, normally they do not act, uh, like uh, submit any xerox but they ask so for your safe side you must keep the xerox you must keep the photocopies of all six documents now what are the documents let's understand 10th mark sheet yes you have you have done your 10th so you should have your 10th mark sheet make sure you are carrying the original mark sheet also and also the photocopy Second is provisional degree certificate. Yes, uh, uh, your provisional certificate certificate for your BTEC or uh, Bachelor of Engineering uh, BE. Okay, uh, maybe the students who have uh, who completed their uh, BTEC in two thousand twenty one and they do not have so you can ask your HOD. You can ask your uh, what to say. You can ask your uh, principal director. They will issue you the pro provisional certificate. Fine because you have you have a lot of time and in within like next week you can finish all the all these these things you can complete all these these documents Aadhaar card yes you must carry your Aadhaar card uh, whatever the Aadhaar, uh, Aadhaar card you have you carry the Aadhaar card uh, original Aadhaar card okay and also the Xerox vaccination certificate yes either you have taken first dose you have taken second dose you have taken third dose no problem if you have taken all two dose three dose you must uh, download the vaccination certificate but if you have not taken even a single dose come on do it fast you go to the nearest uh, hospital nearest vaccination center and uh, take the vaccine okay w once you take the vaccine in maybe maybe in uh, next 5 to 10 minutes they uh, give you the vaccination certificate like it is uploaded on your uh, covin website portal fine so you have to put the log you have to put your contact number and then password they will send the otp and you can download your vaccination certificate okay so take the print out of the vaccination certificate aadhar card original and xerox provisional certificate original and xerox uh, 10th mark sheet original and xerox now coming to the fifth point that fifth uh, record document that is rt pcr negative report yeah so i have collected within 72 hours make sure that uh, the sample you have given it is collected within 72 hours there are two things uh, one aspect is that the report should be within 72 hours and second is that swab collected within 72 hours okay so it means that uh, your time will be counted of counted from the time of your swab collection okay once you give your swab from that time if you will get the rtpcr rtpcr report now they mention the swab collection timing report receiving timing okay 
so your time will be counted from swab collection okay if you have given the swab uh three days before and after three days you are taking the report so that will not be accepted because it already it will already uh, like expire it will already be completing 72 hours okay so make sure from swab collection it should be within 72 hours okay so uh, there are many vaccination centers i will talk about these these things in the next uh, 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 in the uh, at the last of this video so rt pcr negative report you have to do the testing fine uh, it should be negative and it should be within 72 hours Coming to the sixth point that is caste and PWD certificate. Yes, if you are uh, not from general, if you are from general caste, I don't know, uh, you, you are not supposed to submit any document. I was from general, I did my uh, document verification on diploma uh, training, on uh, diploma basis training. So I did the document verification. Now, PWD, yes, if you are disabled, if you have some forms of disability, you must uh, uh, have uh, any sorts of uh, any kind of certificate because uh, it is a... Uh, 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 it is issued by the block or the any of the government offices so just you carry that pwd if you are disabled if you have some forms of disability and uh, if you are uh, sc st uh, obc or any reserve cat, uh, category so you must carry the cost certificate also coming fine coming to the net, uh, note pointed again uh, candidates with the insufficient documents are mis uh, or mismatch of name or date of birth etc and the documents will not be entered and yes your name is mr akash gupta okay and uh, in your uh, in your tenth mark sheet, your name is Mr. Akash Gupta. In your Aadhaar card, your name is Mr. Akash. Come on, you have the you have the issue. Okay, you have the incorrect name. So make sure that names, spellings, date of birth. Your date of birth is 2019, 1999, 2001, 1998. So 21st January 1998. In your Aadhaar card, in your tenth class, you have the date of birth 21 February. So these are the mismatches. Okay, make sure you don't have these these mismatches. Fine. So you just uh, uh, arrange the documents and uh, make sure you don't have these these issues and then you report uh, uh, report to the mentioned office. Document verification will process will uh, process will be completed on the same day. Yes, of course. Once you will go to the office, they will ask you to yes come inside this hall. There is a hall and there, there is like chairs are there. Uh, you, uh, they will not allow the parents to go inside with you. Uh, parents will be outside the door and you will be inside there. You will sit on the chair. And they will call the name one by one. Um, possibly they will call the name uh, in alphabetical order. Like uh, name starting from A to B, A and B and C and D and finally Z. My name was from Z. So I, I was being uh, I was called by them uh, in the last. Okay. So yes, uh, they have the reporting time 10 a.m. in the morning, 3rd of February. And even if you arrive there, uh, like you have to be there on time. Okay. Make sure you are going there on time. So you will be finishing your documents like they will be finishing the documents uh, of all all the students possibly by 2.30 or 3 p.m. Okay. Yes. If you are not reporting on the above mentioned date, your candidate stands cancelled. Of course, if you are not interested, you will not be going there. It means uh, you're, you're that shortlist. You have been shortlisted, but you are not going for document verification. It means it is cancelled. Also, uh, second thing is that. If you are not going there on, uh, uh, on the same day, on the same date and time, and if you are arriving there one day later, so you will not be entertained. They will not listen to any of your excuse. Okay. So don't think that there is COVID-19. There is a hike in Omicron cases, hike in Corona cases. I should not go. No, if you are really interested, yes, railways are running. Flights are there. You can go. There, there is no any big excuse. Okay. Because if, if there is something like that, they would have not called you on this day. So the condition outside is normal you may make sure you are uh, you are wearing mask you are you are having sanitizers okay this is all about your personal safety fine now uh, this is all about uh, the documents required and uh, some some additional points now coming to some more specific points that i would like to give uh, one thing i would like to say is that uh, if you are uh, deboarding the train if you are uh, if you are uh, Coming, uh, coming out from your train in Yashwantpur Junction. Yashwantpur Junction is, uh, it is a railway station in Bang Bangalore itself. So you make sure you come out uh, from the gate number one. If you come out from gate number one, you will see many, many restaurants. Uh, not restaurant. Yes, the restaurants are also there. Many lodges. Okay, many, many PGs are there. So you will have the options. Uh, you can stay there. Okay, so you come out from. One good thing is that. All PGs, all 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 uh, lodges are available or open twenty four is to seven, so you can stay any of them. Uh, normally they charge you for twenty four hours uh, if you are going to book a one room. 
uh, having separate bathroom and uh, like they will have one bed for one person or two person is also like adjustable i can say but for a uh, double bed uh, you will have a charging around 1200 or 1000 for single room it would be 800 sometimes 600 so it ranges in within this cost fine and the office location office location uh, like bell office is around 3 to 4 kilometer within the range of 3 to 4 kilometer in uh, from yashwanpur junction the auto rickshaw puller might, might charge you 100 rupees maximum otherwise 70 80 they will take 70 80 rupees and they will like leave you on that destination on that spot bell office uh, they, they they call it bell circle you know in their uh, there they call it bell circle so you go the bell circle and just beside like one minute or 200 meter or 100 meter from bell circle okay they, they know the office auto rickshaw they know the office fine now uh, rt pcr report this is very important to talk i have already discussed they, they are they are counting the time from swab collection okay so if you arrive a uh, bangalore one day before and if you go to yashwanpur so one day before it means uh you can uh, you can go to i can say uh you can go to lal path lab lal path lab they take the sample uh, if you if you go to lal path lab early morning 9 in the morning and then they will give you report by 4 30 in the evening okay and uh, so lal path lab are also is also available uh, in yashwantpur you will google the google it you will find the address and uh, they charge you 500 rupees for the test uh, rt pcr report is mandated to there okay and take the print copy a uh, print of the of the of your report they will keep the report okay they, they will actually submit your report so make sure you take the print out of your report now uh this is uh, all all the concerns that i have talked about yes uh those who are keen who are excited uh they must join this training because you will be getting a wonderful vibes a very great experience because uh it is such a prestigious organization and you will have uh you will have a chance to meet with the good people highly professional people and uh, that's great okay so in my opinion you must go there you are go for your documents verification once you go for document verification your document verification is finished they give you the offer letter in your hand and they ask you to come for the joining on this this date on this this date okay so thank you so much and if you have any questions you must ask me in the comment section have a blessed day thank you